Have you ever wondered which movie Joker laughed the most? <laughs> or how many times Heath Ledger licked his lips? Hi. Well, we strapped ourselves in with a big old smile on our face to count all these kooky and crazy stats for everyone's favorite clown prince of crime, the Joker. Wait till they get a load of me. In this rib-tickling, side-splitting, mayhem-inducing edition of By the Numbers. What are you laughing at? <laughs> to be clear, our stats apply to these seven Joker portrayals in seven wide theatrically released films. Cesar Romero, Jack Nicholson, Mark Hamill, Heath Ledger, Jared Leto, Zach Galifianakis, and Joaquin Phoenix. So sorry, we're not including Revenge of the Nerd star Curtis Armstrong from this OnStar commercial. Are you nuts? So you want to get nuts? Come on, let's get nuts. Is that laughing gas I smell? Because here are our top three combined screen time chucklers. <laughs> Jack Nicholson just loved being Jack. <laughs> Cesar Romero found everything funny. And Joaquin Phoenix literally couldn't stop at times. Is this a joke to you? <laughs> Mark Hamill's Joker laugh seems to have the most range with eight variations. <laughs> this isn't a joke. And sad clown crying face, Zach Galifianakis' Joker laughed the least at a combined nine seconds. Why so serious? There's a lot of preparation that goes into a role like this. Joaquin Phoenix took the role very seriously and lost 52 pounds for his Joker, while Jack Nicholson spent two hours in makeup every day for Tim Burton's Batman. What's with that stupid grin? Life's been good to me. <laughs> but Cesar Romero topped them all when he refused to shave his trademark mustache, essentially driving the viewer insane because now you can't unsee this. Now that's a true criminal mastermind. Every actor has put his unique stamp on the Joker, like Heath Ledger licking his lips 42 times throughout Dark Knight. <laughs> but there are certain characteristics seen across the board. The Joker can cut a mean rug, especially Joaquin Phoenix, who went full-blown Saturday Night Fever by dancing more than any other Joker. The Joker loves to present moral dilemmas for various characters. Save the city or catch your greatest enemy. And he exhibits extreme suicidal tendencies. Ah! He loves his purple suits. Not Joaquin, though. He got a little spicy with a red suit. And that crazy kooky Jared Leto wore a classy gold jacket. I could tell you meant that. And hey, eat your heart out carrot top, because Mr. J used a combined 25 killer comedic props, which included three electrified hand buzzers, two acid flowers, and one disappearing pencil. When the Joker's not busy killing Mommy and Daddy Batman, or blowing up Katie Holmes, uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal, I mean, he's usually getting hit by Batman. Good, because he's a real jerk. He also loves a good baddie team-up. Cesar Romero joined forces with three iconic DC villains, but Zach Galifianakis teamed up with the most DC villains at 39. Hey, Clock King, Calendar Man, Kite Man, Cat Man, Zebra Man, and the Condiment King. Okay, are you making some of those up? Nope, they're all real. And deep down, the Joker is an artist at heart, especially Jared Leto's Joker, who chose to express himself by getting 19 tattoos on his body. He's so damaged which then led to an unknown amount of people getting tattoos of Jared Leto's Joker on their bodies, thus making the creators of this video spend an embarrassing amount of time looking up pictures of people who got tattoos of Jared Leto's Joker on their bodies. So hopefully this edition of By the Numbers gave you a nice little chuckle, or maybe made you fear for your life. Hopefully a little bit of both. But you know we're all gonna get that final curtain call eventually, and when we do, we may as well go out smiling. That's what I want to see, a nice big smile.